what? Here it is, Christmas Eve, and I'm looking at Psycho Santa. What's wrong with me? What's right with me? I'm the lazy game reviewer, and I look at weird games like this, and Psycho Santa is friggin' weird. It's a game from 1993, released exclusively through the magazine The One Amiga, and it was developed by Bullfrog Productions. Yes, that Bullfrog. The same guys responsible for the Populous Games theme park and a bunch of other friggin' awesome stuff. I'd love to think Peter Molyneux had something to do with something this ridiculous, but that's probably just wishful thinking. The credits credit Michael C. Disquette, Gary Carr, and Kevin Earl. Uh, Disquette sounds like a bit of a fishy name to me. Either that or that's just freakishly appropriate for a coder. Whatever the case, this is Psycho Santa, and it starts off with that music that you've been hearing in the background, which is actually pretty catchy. The gameplay begins with you presumably taking over Santa's soul, assuming control of his body and his sleigh, which is conveniently attached to two weird gravity-defying reindeer. You're just kind of roaming around through the fluttering snowflakes, dodging things in the sky. Uh, you know, you may as well just throw away any preconceived notions you may have for what a Christmas game should be because the only one this follows is that presents have to be delivered. Otherwise, you have death demons in the sky and other impossible flying creatures trying to kill you. Not exactly a storybook Christmas, unless perhaps your storybook was written by Dr. Seuss under the influence of stupid. At the beginning of each level, you're given a goal, which is to make a certain number of houses happy. That's right, not the children, the houses. Man, I feel bad now, always buying gifts for my loved ones over the years and ignoring my house this entire time. And this seems like a simple enough goal, with a Defender-esque landscape to cover, enemies to avoid, and a supply of presents to deliver to the houses below. But an issue arises when you realize that Santa is a psycho and for some reason tosses the presents from the rear of the sleigh instead of straight down or forward. This makes for some of the most awkward gift delivery I have ever experienced, and it adds a thick layer of annoyingness to the gameplay that really shouldn't be there. So you're constantly battling against yourself to try and stay above the houses and avoid all the damaging crap flying at you. Yes, folks, this is the game. Back and forth and back and forth and forth and back and back and forth and forth back until you move on to the bonus level. Here you find Santa has apparently beaten and robbed Commander Keen and now has a pogo stick. And the goal is to grab all the presents from this massive tree before time massively runs out. That was stupid. Why did I say that? It's pretty straightforward here, but you have to be at just the right angle to collect each present, and it's got that weird gameplay element that requires you to press jump at just the right time in order to jump even higher. It's that trampoline feeling, and I've never ever been good at these kinds of things, and I'm not very fond of this one either. At all. Nope. Then it's on to the next level, which is really the same as the first level. Except with more houses to please, and more crap to avoid. Eventually, the inevitable happens and you'll be out of presents to deliver, mainly because of Santa's unreasonable fear of just dropping things directly below him. What you've got to do is go and confront a death demon thing at the top of the sky and smack it with snowballs in the face, listening to it scream in both channels of audio until it dies. And when it does, it will explode into a bunch of presents which you need to gather before they hit the ground. And that is Psycho Santa, such as it is. It's a free game that came with a magazine, and you can tell. I mean, what do you expect? Well, I'll tell you what I expected, and that is a game that lives up to its own Psycho moniker. I can imagine a lot more Psycho of a Santa than one who just refuses to drop presents properly. That's not Psycho, that's stupid. I guess I just somehow envisioned Santa as an axe murderer, or something simple like that, but alas, this is not that game. But as it is, it's just not worth recommending at all, because it's devoid of any interesting gameplay and what it does have is repetitive at best. Apparently there was going to be a more complete Psycho Santa experience by Bullfrog, but I can't find any evidence of that actually happening. And that's too bad, because the game has some pretty sweet stuff. It's got music and a name. Uh, <laughs> Well, actually, that's all it has, so never mind. If you have the full game, I don't really care. Merry freaking Christmas and have a happy whatever.
Oh, no. Oh, no.